Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there is three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, 
equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Work Order Management Database Template. So if you scroll down here underneath the database tools and miscellaneous templates, go ahead and hit the Access Work Order Management Database. Once that web page opens, go to the download a demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. Once it downloads, open the file, and the file is zipped up, so you're gonna need to extract all of the contents of the file before you can open it. Hit extract. Once you've extracted it, open the file. And with all our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or concern. Now I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And as always with the database template, you also get this pop-up box stating that this is a demo version of the software. So therefore, none of your data will be stored. If you want to save the information and data that you enter, you need to purchase the full version of the database template. It also has all the different ways that you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close out of this for now. So this is the work order management database template. This would be perfect for an organization or a business that created work orders and needed a way to manage that, as well as manage their employees and their customers. So to begin here, we're gonna add in a new employee. So if you hit the employees tab and then hit add new employee, you get this box where you can enter in information about an employee. So we're just gonna make a test employee for the sake of the demonstration. So we're gonna name him Blake Test. And we're gonna say the company he works for is WSI. And we're going to give him a business phone number. And we'll give him an email. But as you can see, you can put in tons of information about the employee, as much as like their address, their job title, phone numbers, and notes about them, and even their billing rate if they're potentially a consultant of that sort. You're also going to even input an image of the employee if you'd like. We will not be doing that for now. We are going to go ahead and hit Save and New. And so now a new pop-up box for a new employee pops up, but we've already created one, so we're gonna go ahead and close out. So now we can search for that employee. So we have this employee search function. If you hit in this box, start typing the name of the employee you wanna search for. So B, since I'm the only one I've created, I am the only one to show up when I type in B. And I can even double. And so now if I wanna go back and edit some more information about that employee, I can simply double click the record and boom, it shows back up. I can edit any information, add in some new information or maybe delete some information from this employee. We will not be doing that for now. So this would obviously be perfect for if you wanted to keep track of all your employees and be able to search for employees when you need to know information about the employee. Go ahead and hit close and now we're gonna add a new customer. So you hit the customers tab and then go to add new customer. So let's add in a customer. We'll say their name is Bill Smith. And we're gonna say they have a business phone number but as you can see, you can fill out a ton of information about them similarly to the employees tab. So we'll give them an email as well. But we're not going to fill out all the information. But you can do the same thing. You can add an image of the uh, customer. You can add a note about them. And once we create a work order, if a customer has a work order, they would show up in here. They do not have any for now. So now we're going to hit save a new. Same thing, a new pop-up box shows up for a new employee or a new customer, but we don't need one. We've already added one. Hit close. And now, once again, you can search for that uh, customer. So if you hit in B, right away it shows up because they're the only customer in the book. So if you double click this, once again, you can even go back and come back and edit some more information. So it's pretty cool. It'd be perfect for if you needed to keep track of your customers. And so now for the work orders. So if you hit the work orders tab and hit add new work orders, you can see a work order shows up. So you're going to say the date that we received the work order was today. And we're going to say the date that it's required by. And we're going to say it's in five days from now. So we're going to make up a PO number here, which is going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, entered by the employee I made, and the customer ID. These are just some test customers that were in it for the sake of the demonstration. If you purchase the database templates, obviously you can put in all your own customers. And so now you can see you can put in the problem description. So the work order, we can say what it's for. We're just going to put in test, but like let's say the work orders for a laptop and the screen was broke, something like that. You could put that in. So now we're going to say the parts we need. Um, 
this one is these are all test ones parts that were put in here you can see it's a lot of uh, computer related products so we're gonna say an LCD panel quantity we're gonna say one Oops. there we go and so now we can see the amount automatically updates so it was 2195 the sales tax is 8% so it adds that sales tax to that order total and adds it up to the amount and we can even put in like the make slash models so we'll say it was a Toshiba serial number one two three all that stuff you can put in the date it's finished the pickup date and the payments that maybe maybe they've already made a pr partial payment on this you also can go to this labor so we can have technicians within this work order so as you can see these are our employees we've created so these are this is just some test employees so let's do this one the billable hours let's say it's going to take him two hours to fix the screen the billing rate will say seven dollars an hour there we go so now it adds once again to the amount due because it's how much the uh, technician is paid as well. So now it's thirty-eight dollars and eighty-three cents. And you can even go to payments. So if they, the work order, they see this is work order number twelve. So work order number twelve. If they are going to pay and we'll say cash and they're going to pay today. And the payment amount is we're going to say they're going to pay in full. There we go. So now they are paying in full on today with cash. So it keeps track of all your work order information and is the thing that's good is so now once I hit a new work order shows up and so now I don't need to make a new one if I close out of this I can now go and search for that work order so we're gonna say the date it was received was March 1st oh there we go just have to type in three and as you can see we have two out on March 1st but the one we made was a Toshiba one so if you double click this record you can even come back to this and you can edit more information or add in some more information so since we said they paid in cash, you know, the payment is $38.83 on today's date. Now the amount due is zero because they've already done the payment, so it automatically evens out. So I'll go ahead and close out of this for now. So this is a pretty detailed database. It'd be perfect for a company that you did have work orders for, and you also wanted to keep track of your employees and your customers that were working on those work orders. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert Database Template Walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions, Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, database development, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, feel free to follow us on any of our social media platforms any of our social media profiles we post quite frequently once again thank you all for watching this microsoft access expert database template walkthrough and have a great day